Hey everyone, welcome Gary Simon of Corsetro and welcome to the second edition of this week where I preview the content that I'm going to be creating the tutorials and all that stuff for this upcoming week and also I pick out one subject that I'll just talk about very briefly. All right, so first let's get out the content out of the way that we're gonna be covering. I'm going to try to cover in this coming week. So I have definitely three pieces of content that I wanna to get to. So the first is Angular 5 authentication with Firebase while also using maybe a custom email option as well as one of the social options for logging in. And outside of that, I also want to store and persist data using that you know, the currently log logged in user using Cloud Firestore. So you can get an idea of how you link, uh, you know, data that is saved to Cloud Firestore and associate it with an actual user account. Um, the second thing I want to do is cover a, an Electron Intermediate tutorial of some sort. So I just released that free beginner's course on Electron uh, or Electron development for creating native desktop apps uh, using JavaScript. So I want to just create you know, a series of tutorials throughout the next month or two um, that get into more specific things that you want to do with Electron. And then also, finally, I also want to do UI design of some sort. So, you know, as, as many of you know, I'm a full stack developer and I want to cover, you know, also the aesthetics or the UI design or identity design and all that stuff that's pertinent if you're a full stack designer. So I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to cover yet, but that's kind of just a rough idea of what I have. All right, so for this week's topic that I wanted to discuss, I one thing being that New Year's resolutions are coming up uh, here on January 1st, I, one of the things that I really want to emphasize to every single one of you subscribers is if you have not yet, you need to start a business in 2018. Hell, even 2017, if you're feeling that compelled to do. So normally when it comes to these New Year's, resolu <coughs> New Year's resolutions and waiting for that, I'm not a big fan of. Do what you need to do and do it now. However, being that we're really close to January 1st, go ahead and set aside the time, you know, this month, we're December 3rd, to start planning and set it you know, some sort of business plan up and a plan of attack or plan of action for establishing some type of business. I don't care if you're a designer or a coder and you're currently an employee or subcontractor or freelancer, try to set up and start a business. Now you may ask yourself, why? If you're already getting paid and you're already happy with your current situation, well, what happens, of course, if you get fired? You just have to go to yet another employer, employee, and you have downtime, really, in that scenario, it is out of your hands. And if you live on the internet in this day and age, you have access to all this information, especially a lot of free content in terms of how to market and you know all these opportunities that are available. There's no reason not to start a business of some sort. And I'm, like I said, I don't care if you're a designer or a coder, you can come up with something at least. Now also the flexibility that you know, having your own business gives you in terms of you know, not having to wake up at an exact time and be somewhere at an exact time is awesome. Not having to answer to somebody specifically is awesome. Now, of course, I probably do work more than your average person, especially if you're going to start a successful business, you will probably work more. However, the payoff is so much freaking better. So I just wanna give you my personal kind of story here my, you know, my anecdotal story, just to kind of show you, you know, what I have done in the last year that has enabled me from being a subcontracted course developer for different networks like Pluralsight, LinkedIn Learning, who just per recently purchased lynda.com. Um, and it has allowed me to go from that to now to focus solely on my own course business, as you know, course Cetro. And I'm going to be focusing in that 100% full time here, the very beginning of 2018. This is my analytics, uh, Google Analytics for my website, course Cetro. And this is showing the users from January 1st to, to December 3rd, basically this entire year to this point. Now, as you can see, if I hover over where it says 400 users back on January 2nd, I was getting, you know, just a few hundred visitors per day, not very much. Now, as you can see over time, it has steadily grown considerably all the way to 
current day where I'm getting close to 10,000 visitors per day. So I've gone from you know, measly a couple hundred to 10,000. And that's because at the beginning of the year, I made it a huge priority to really work on my business, even though I had these monthly commitments in terms of creating courses. I thought to myself, you know what, at any point in time, and it has to, it had happened before with Envato Network, I was doing courses for them. They didn't, they pre pretty much cut out the whole design department for instructing. They weren't gonna cover that anymore. And I was pretty much out of my subcontracting gig. Yeah, I got to work at home, but I was still at their mercy. So that could happen at any point in time with these other networks that I work for. So I decided, all right, I'm gonna really start focusing hardcore on chugging, turning out content left and right on my site. And so I was, I've was i done probably, I think it's well over 100 tutorials so far, both in written and video format. And having a lot of traffic is one thing, but it doesn't mean anything if you're not monetizing it, right? So I monetize this stuff in a bunch of different ways from Google AdSense, the ads that actually show up on the tutorial. Most people don't mind because they're getting something for free. Don't ever let the socialist communist people tell you that, yeah, uh, it, it's wrong to try to profit from your free content. Completely BS. Um, I also monetize it, of course, through the subscription service that I offer that a lot of you are a part of. I also monetize it uh, through taking those same courses, uploading them to Udemy, uh, and I also monetize it by having ads on my YouTube channel. Uh, I know they're probably pretty annoying. However, it helps pay for my mortgage so I can keep doing this on a more full-time basis. So that's what I did personally to kind of turn my situation around to where I'm no longer at the mercy of an employer or a, you know, a, a subcontractor type of relationship. I don't have to rely on that anymore. And you know what? Once you get the ball rolling, you'll find that your time will be more valuable when you're focusing on your own business as opposed to just working as an employee for somebody else's. And so there was a, a quote that I heard once that really resonated well with me. <clears throat> if you're not going to make your own dreams happen, you're going to work by making somebody else's dreams happen. So. Again, there's nothing wrong with being an employee. There's a lot of positives to that, such as a stable income and all that. However, when it comes to, you know, having your own business, that is the ultimate freedom and you can definitely do it. Don't doubt yourself. So I think, you know, talking about this business stuff and the, the business end, especially because I have experience in it directly is going to become one of the topics that I start discussing more on this channel, because I think it's relevant to everyone, especially you, if you know, you're a designer or a coder, presumably watching this. And so I really want to start talking about that more, maybe give ideas, maybe do case studies. And I may even do something where we do a follow along sort of internet based business and where you can follow along and watch every step that I do to try to grow something small that has a lot of potential and then who knows maybe at the end i'll keep it, keep it going or i'll try to flip it on a website selling service of some sort all right so those are my thoughts for this evening so make sure you subscribe here if you haven't yet of course i'm sure you have if you're watching this um, and also check out coursecetro.com if you have any comments definitely leave them all right see ya